fourth down at halftime. Now, we've uh, already talked about straight ahead animation where the idea was that you start with the first drawing and then the next one, the next one after that, and you think about the action as it's going uh, straight ahead in time. This is uh, an expressive style in um, animation, uh, but it's uh, not necessarily the easiest one in terms of uh, being able to, to plan out a, a scene. Now, for straight ahead animation of a ball drop, uh, in another tutorial it was mentioned how you could use the odd rule, and the odd rule told you that there was a simple pattern for the spacings as the motion slows out uh, from the apex. And that the odd rule is not just for uh, falling motion, but there's lots of uh, cases where slowing out or slowing in follows the odd rule. And again, this is uh, particularly useful for straight ahead animation. Now, uh, one of the principles of animation is that there's uh, two basic styles, uh, straight ahead and pose to pose. Now, in pose to pose, uh, you start with the first drawing, uh, but then uh, you have the last drawing in the uh, in the action. You also have a, uh, an idea of how many um, drawings you're going to have in between, so uh, you have a sense of the total time uh, for the action. And then uh, you create the breakdown key or the breakdown pose uh, that is halfway in time between the first and the last. You could continue and have uh, in between drawings that are between the first and the middle uh, breakdown drawing and then another one which is between the breakdown drawing and the last pose, we have another in between, uh, and you can continue and fill in as much as needed. Now, uh, it's said that this is somewhat less spontaneous and expressive than straight ahead, but certainly easier to um, plan a scene from, from start to finish. This is also the more common type of um, animation that's used in uh, computer animation where uh, the computer can create the uh, the in-betweens with the animator uh, establishing just a few of the keys and uh, breakdowns. Now for uh, pose to pose, a useful principle is to use what I call fourth down at halftime. This um, name perhaps makes more sense if you know American football, but uh, nevertheless, the idea is that when you have a slowing out or slowing in, such as with falling motion, that the uh, breakdown, which is halfway in time between the apex and the last uh, key, that uh, breakdown is a fourth of the way from the apex. So we see this in two examples here. Uh, this first one where we have uh, shooting on threes, the position of the bowling ball uh, halfway in time between the first and the last key is a, a fourth of the way down. Uh, a similar example here uh, where we have the uh, drawings all the way down to uh, falling motion for a full 24 frames, uh, one second. Uh, the breakdown here is uh, 12 frames down from the apex and again it's a fourth of the way down. And, and this rule applies uh, for any key that's halfway in time from the release point. So uh, well, we'll say more about that later. 
Well, here's some um, video reference that illustrates this. So uh, here at the university, I went out and uh, took a, a ball, threw it up in the air, shot some video reference. And on this frame, it's at the apex. Um, here is the frame uh, just before I catch the ball. And if I go halfway in time, so there were 10 frames between the first and the last, if I go halfway in time, which is five frames from the apex, uh, you see the position of the ball is uh, here and uh, it's a fourth of the way down. I would urge you to uh, shoot some video reference uh, yourself and, and check it, try to have a background that's not quite as cluttered as, uh, as what I did. But uh, anyway, that's uh, a useful exercise. Now, uh, getting back to animating a, a ball drop, if, um, if these are the drawings uh, in the ball drop, uh, we can verify that uh, this key, oops, sorry, this key, which is uh, halfway in time between uh, the apex and this last drawing is a fourth of the way down. Now, as I said, this is uh, particularly useful in computer animation, especially if you are positioning uh, an object using the graph editor. So if uh, in the graph editor, here is the height of the ball at the apex, and then in the graph editor, you decide that this is the position um, on the last uh, frame of the fall, which would be uh, here. Then uh, to get a believable motion, the halfway point in time should be a fourth of the way down from the apex. And uh, you don't need to be measuring this. You can uh, just by eye estimate that this is uh, halfway down and um, this would be a, a fourth of the way down. So here it is. And the um, computer can compute all of the, the in-betweens and uh, while this is not a perfect parabolic uh, curve, it um, will give you very believable motion. Now there's uh, another extension of this idea, which um, uh, Dave Chai, uh, independent animator, uh, showed me. And uh, this uh, idea is similar to um, fourth down at halftime. In this case, we, we start with the first and, and last drawings, and we put a key uh, at the halfway uh, position then we put another key at the halfway position between the middle and the top. We mark the next halfway position going up, but we're not going to put a, a key there, uh, but we use that to estimate the last key that we're going to mark um, from the apex. Now, falling a la chai is, is not exact. Uh, in the uh, sketch here, you see the positions and spacings that uh, falling a la chai gives you. And then uh, next to it, you see the actual correct spacings that you would get from the, from the odd rule. So uh, this uh, key number four is, is a little bit high, but um, you know, hardly, hardly noticeable. Now, falling a la chai is actually based on uh, using fourth down at halftime. And in fact, it's using it uh, twice because uh, key number three, which is halfway between number one and number five, halfway in time, uh, you see that it's a, a fourth of the way down. And key number two, which is halfway in time between one and three, is also a fourth of the way down. And number four is um, 
just an estimate and it's a little bit off, but uh, close enough. So in summary, for pose to pose animation, you uh, decide on the first and last keys, you fix those, and then you start filling in the keys uh, in time uh, in between those, starting with the breakdown and then any further in-betweens. Now, fourth down at halftime, that rule says that the breakdown key that's halfway in time from the apex to the last key, that one is has a spacing that is a fourth of the way down from the apex. And I just showed you that falling a la chai is an extension of this fourth down at halftime. That gives you uh, some further in-between keys uh, besides the breakdown. So hopefully between the odd rule and fourth down at halftime, you'll be able to create some believable slowing out for falling motion. Take care.